Welcome back to the trail of Mushy the Cowboy Cook. Today we're going to cook Little Smokies wrapped in pretzels. Now this can be for tailgating, holiday parties, whether it's Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, Super Bowl, um, like I said, tailgating, um, picnicking, wherever and whenever. Now let's get into the video. Alright, for these pretzel wrap smokies, I've got a pack of smokies, about 14 ounces. I'm not sure, it, it may be too much. I might need another roll actually, but we're going to work with this one pizza roll got out of the refrigerated section of the store. So I've got, like I said, one refrigerated pizza dough, one package of Little Smokies. I've got five cups of water boiling with a quarter cup of baking soda in it. And then I've got one egg for an egg wash and then a little bit of salt. So what you do is, once you got your water heating up, take you a smoky and just kind of figure out the size of the dough. Roll of smoky. Just pat it together on the where it comes together a little bit to stick. You're gonna put it in the water. And you're gonna boil it for about a minute. So you'll boil them for about a minute, then we'll take them off, and then I'll come back and show you what to do after I've got all these processed through. Alright, I've got some made up. i still got more to do. But after you boil them for about a minute, pull them out, put them in a pan. Now every once in a while they will come apart, you can just put it right back together. Do an egg wash on it. And then just like a pretzel, a little bit of salt on it. I've got my 16 inch Dutch oven heating up. We're going to cook them 325 for about 10-15 minutes. And then we'll come back and give them a try. Alright, these little smokies are done. Nice and browned up, both sides. A couple of things though. I'm not exactly sure where I got this recipe from, but I really liked what I saw. Um, I don't guess the maybe the instructions weren't maybe uh, as complete. Maybe it was just a, a talking one, maybe a non-talking thing I saw, and who, who knows where where I saw what I got. But I'm gonna make some adjustments on the recipe. For one, after you boil it, put it on a rack and let it try and dry out because it was very wet obviously from boiling the uh, the dough and so it took a little bit longer to cook 
In fact, it took about 30 minutes for me to cook it in order to get get it back to the crispy, you know, a crispiness, especially on the outside. So I do that first, and then you could cook it for probably 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I don't think even with uh, putting it on a rack, 10 minutes is, is enough. I was a little skeptical when I saw the 10 minutes on wh wherever I saw it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyhow, <coughs> they look great. Daggum, that doesn't taste like a pretzel. Yes, it's it's worth it. Um, just a couple of steps, putting that little bit of salt on it, that's what really makes it taste like a pretzel, but even without it, <clears throat> Um, even without the salt, it's got a, a pretzel texture to it. Mmm. Very good. So, in, in the description down below, I'll put the extra time and the extra step of putting it on a rack after you boil it in order to dry it out. So with that, I, it's worth trying. <clears throat> Try it, see what you think. If you like it, make it for a, a tailgate party or a Super Bowl party or New Year's Eve party. Um, real simple. Basically, two ingredients plus an egg and some baking soda and salt. All that you should already have. Just another different way of serving the little smokies that are so popular at parties, especially here in the, around the holidays. Give it a try. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on the pretzel wrapped smokies. Again, whether it's for a tailgate, uh, football game, basketball game, appetizers, parties, the holidays, give it a try. And while the, I went by the recipe and obviously I, I made a few changes mainly cooking because I am outdoors in a Dutch oven and sometimes it takes a little bit longer, it's colder outside. But I, But overall I need to change the recipe to even if I was cooking inside. So that goes to show you, um, whenever you use a recipe, always be a little flexible if need be, whether it's cooking a little more time, a little less time, be observant. And that's how, because sometimes ovens aren't all the same. Some are hotter than, than what the temperature on, the, uh, on what you set it for, or might be a little colder. So it teaches us to be very observant with what we're doing. That's why sometimes you have to add a little more water, a little more milk, or a little more flour um, based on the humidity, based on uh, altitude, things like that. Same goes for the temperature and the cook times. So don't just, it's not a set it and forget it in these recipes. You have to sometimes make adjustments so always be very observant if you like videos like this please subscribe if you haven't already if you had have already thanks very much I do appreciate it share it like it ring the bell and mushy the cowboy cook we'll see you down the trail